even look, look, not even 40k to have sex with them. Have 40k to have sex with their wife. That's great. I like my bitch, red bone, that's fat, jello, light skin, yellow. Hi, my name is T. Like the drink, but I ain't sweet. You feel me? So today, you know what I'm saying? We're finna get into Perfect Match, episode four, season two. You feel me? But you know what I'm saying? Before we get into this, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, make sure you follow me on my GB description below, as well as in video. I'm gonna turn post catch your bell on so you know if I'm gonna drop a video. Alright, y'all, now let's get into this. So, at, um, Chris pulls ex Exanic and, um, Dominique to the side talk to talk to them. Basically, he says, like, he basically apologizing to them that he ain't picking them tonight, that he is picking his friend Elise, because he don't want her to go home, type of thing, right? So, X, like, why are you telling me this? Like, we not even matched up. We never were. We never talked about it. Like, why are you telling me this? And I was a little confused with that, too. Like, I get why he told um Dominique because that was his match. Obviously, you should tell your match. But X, like, y'all, like, come on, what? I get I get what he was doing. But, it's, you know what I'm saying? Like, it was like, you know, I don't know. But, okay, anyways. So, then Steven, Stefan, Stephen, however you say his name. Matched up with Alara, Dom matched up with Tulu, and then X and Dominique end up leaving, which I was kind of sad because then probably two is like one of I love Dominique. Um, X, she's she cool too. I like her too. You feel me? Um, so anyways, they start playing this game and stuff. Um, this is the next day they start playing a game like basically guess who. So they'll tell a fact and you guess who it is. So. Chris ended up being a stripper. He was a stripper before. I would have never ever guessed. He just don't look like I can't. I cannot see Chris being a stripper. I just don't see it. Harry having an OnlyFans. I see that. Yeah, I mean it's Harry. You know what I'm saying? I, I realized at this point, don't expect anything less than Harry for Harry. Um, then you got Elise. She broke 19 bones, bro. That's so many bones. How do you even break that? Like that? I don't like. But you know it's like bones within bones, so it could be like that. Or like, bro, that's a lot of bones. Stefan um end up fucking with a pop star. Fuck the pop star. Who's the pop star? I really wanna know. I really, 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 really wanna know. Like if y'all know, let me know. Shit, I wanna know. We got Stefan putting women in a cage, bro. He said he had a cage for his dogs and women like to get in it. That is some weirdo shit. That is, I don't, bro. I mean, if as long as he ain't putting them in there and the women getting in there voluntarily, I don't know what woman want to be in a dog cage. Me, personally, that's not for me, but the women that like to do it, I'm not going to judge because, you know, I might do some weird shit that you do, but what the fuck is this bitch doing? So, you know, I, don't, I can't even talk, but that's a little, whoa, you know what I'm saying? That's a little OD, but whatever floats your boat, you know what I'm saying? Um... Then we got somebody married, got married while they was in a relationship with them. That was, uh, was it Tulu? It was Tulu. They got somebody, was she was in a relationship with a guy, they got married while they was with her. That is, that is some crazy shit. Like, married, bro? Like, that is crazy. Um, somebody paid somebody 40k to have sex. Who do y'all think it is? I mean, y'all seen the show. Harry, bro, like, 40k? Like, I ain't never paying nobody 40k to have sex. Ain't nothing. Not even little. Not even 40k to have sex with them. Have 40k to have sex with their wife. That's crazy. Um. So, anyways, that was the little game. So then, you know, what I'm saying Dom and Tulu was. So they got the date and they got the boardroom. Dom was telling Tulu to go on a date with somebody, right? So I I get what he was trying to do, but I just felt like I don't know, y'all. I just felt like. I'll get more. I'll get more. So hold on. Wait. Just wait, wait. Wait a minute. Let's hold that thought. So, so Dom and Tulu won. So they get to go on a day into the boardroom. Um, basically, so Stefan felt like he should have won. So he made a date for Lara. He made it. He he cooked her some up. They have a little date outside. I thought that was so cute. Cause even if they didn't win a date, he said like I'm still taking you out on a date regardless. I thought that was the cutest thing ever. I thought that was so adorable. But, um, so basically they, 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 Dom and Tulu had a little cooking date. And then, um, t Dom was telling, they went to the boardroom. Dom was telling Tulu, you know what I'm saying, to go on a date. Like, she, he thinks she should stay to explore other options. Basically, Tulu got pissed at how he was saying it and said, like, karma's a bitch, basically. And 
Yeah, you know I'm saying, um, I get, I, cause I get what Don was saying. Like basically, like we shouldn't be set in stone on this. We should try other stuff. I agree with that. I think it's just the way he said it and when he said it. And I think that ticked her off because she thinking they locked in. But then, I think he should just been like, you know, what I'm saying, I don't want to lock in too quick because of what happened last time. Let's just, I don't know. I, I, he see, I don't think he said it too bad. I just think it, it was the time and place and just stuff like that. But. That was episode four. So let me know what y'all think about that episode. That episode was, you know what I'm saying, a little getting a little rocky, you feel me? Um, but you know what I'm saying? Um, interesting to see. But let me know how y'all feeling so far about this season in the comments. And thank you for watching and see you guys next video.